We've all been there. We've all been through breakups. I know they suck, but it doesn't have to be the end of the world. I'm gonna share with you a few things you can do to get your ex back, if that's what you truly desire. Welcome back to another video, my friends. My name is BJ and I am your friend. Go ahead and drop me a thumbs up, guys. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that way you can be notified whenever I do upload new videos to the channel. When you subscribe, you become a part of my film. And that is what I like. I like people to be a part of my film, guys. And um, I just want to inspire, motivate, and encourage you all to be your best selves. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, guys, we're talking about relationships today and specifically breakups. Now, every single one of us has been through a breakup. I've been through breakups. You've been through breakups. Everybody and their mom has been through a breakup. It's just a part of life. Sometimes we want to attract someone back into our life because we feel like we had a strong connection with them. But then sometimes you might want to attract someone back into your life because you feel like you're not worthy or not good enough. And that is not good or healthy for you. Now, what I want to say is that I would never want someone to attract someone back into their life because you feel like you are less than or unworthy by yourself. That's not true. You are already whole, worthy, and complete by yourself. You can be single and be whole, worthy, and complete. You don't need anybody else outside of you to complete you. However, if you want to attract someone into your life and have a beautiful, loving relationship, there are ways to do this in an organic way where you don't have to play any games. You don't have to do any tactics. These are things that are organic and they can attract someone to your life naturally. I'm going to share them with you right now. Tip number one, let go of your relationship. Just let it go. It's in the past. It had to end for a reason. That relationship ended because the things that were happening were causing it not to work. So you have to let it go. Let it go because it wasn't serving you or your partner well. The breakup needed to happen. Sometimes some things need to fall apart so that better things can fall into place. So if this specific relationship ended, maybe it needed to end. It needed to end so that better things can begin. Sometimes that takes self-healing on your part and maybe your partner's part from maybe past traumas and relationships in the past. Sometimes it takes self-reevaluation to really look at what do you really want in life? What do you desire? You might even come to realize it's really not even this person that you want to be with. It's just that you just miss being with someone because you felt lonely by yourself. Sometimes we'll get with someone just for the sake of saying we have someone so that we don't feel alone. But you don't need anybody to complete you. You're already whole and complete by yourself. Step number two, have fun and do things that bring you joy. Whatever you did before, hang out with friends, hang out with your family, go hiking, go play video games, scrapbook, do art, write poems, read. You just go have fun. Go have fun and really enjoy your life. You know, go travel. You know, do things that make you laugh and that bring you joy. Because when you do this, you vibrate with a new kind of energy, a fresh energy. And what does that do? It attracts people to you. This includes an ex. They could be miles and miles and miles away. But guess what? Energy is real and it vibrates all around us. They can feel that energy. That's why once you stop chasing, they start coming back. Because you're not chasing them. You're not begging them. You are already living and being in your own frame. And you're having fun doing it in an authentic way. But when you're having fun and you're living your best life, this is one of the best ways to attract the next back into your life. If that's one of your true desires. Because you're not focused on them anymore. You're focused on you. Step number three, trust God. Trust that God has a bigger and better plan for you. Now, that plan could be for you and your partner to get back together again. However, in a fresh frame, in a better frame, in a better state of mind for the both of you, this could mean that God has someone even better for you than the person that you were even with. You could get someone and meet someone that's so much better than you ever imagined that you won't even take two thoughts to even think about being with that ex anymore because a new person is that much more amazing. Maybe you align spiritually, physically, financially, and mentally with this new person that you did with the old person. Or you and your ex can get back together and have a fresh, refreshed, restore relationship with a new state of mind to where you guys vibe and just align with each other like you never have before because you both did the self-work. At the end of the day, it's all about focusing on you, bettering you, being the highest, most loving, best amazing version of yourself. And when you do this, you attract other loving people into your life. You attract amazing people into your life. Divine synchronicities, amazing connections come into your life because 
you are being the most amazing version of yourself. If you do these things, you can attract an ex back into your life and attract fresh relationships into your life that are even better than you ever imagined. It works every single time, guys. Trust me. Thank you guys for watching this video. I wanted to keep this short and sweet just to help you out. I love every single one of you guys. Really do. God bless you on this holiday season. If you haven't already, drop me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you can become a part of my family. And hit that bell icon because if you don't hit the bell icon, YouTube will not notify you whenever I upload new content to the channel. So you gotta be sure to hit the bell icon. That way you won't miss a video that I upload to the channel. I'll put some of their videos up here for you to check out. And as usual, I love you guys. God bless you. And I'll see you in the next video.